No, it's not! It spawns me at the world entrance. I actually am very happy about that, because that takes me next to the warp pad, which I can use to warp immediately to floor two. Bonk. Yeah, by the way, we have not even explored half the world yet. There is so much to this world, it is crazy. We're warping to floor two near Wumba's Wigwam. Floor 2 is a little bit of a maze, it's true. Ouch, I'm trying to use my claw climber boots and you are being very rude. Oh, hey, it's, it's you. Sorry, bro, there's nothing I can really do about that. Although one thing I should do before I go anywhere else is go down this tunnel. I'm sorry, this vent. I like how you go in the air vents in this level, it's cool. That'll open up the door in here, and it'll stay open. Fantastic. We need grenade eggs more than anything. Is that the only place it leads to, really? Where's the Globo? I heard a Globo around. I actually don't remember where the Globo is located either. I thought it was just kind of out in the open. Oh, is it literally just in the broken pipe? No, that's where I climbed up from. It's behind the broken pipe where you climb up from. Oh, that's clever. Actually, is that the broken pipe where we climb up from? No, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's down here. So actually, that's a different broken pipe. Okay, I guess that doesn't lead anywhere. All right, well, now that we have a Globo, um... I think we're gonna go to Wumpa's Wigwam next. We don't have to, we can technically... Actually, no, you know what? Not yet. Not yet. I want to explore the factory as just Banjo. If it's your first time playing, explore... Uh, doing the transformation actually can be quite beneficial. It can help you reach all the different floors very, very quickly. However, it's also um, very limited in what it can actually do on those floors. But I do, I do recommend you make use of that sooner rather than later, but I, I, I'm I, gonna show you guys how you climb up the factory normally first. So we never actually went to this side. But there's a ladder over here. Actually, wait, does this way lead anywhere? No. It just leads back to where we claw climbered up the first time. This will climb us up and let us go to floor three. So floor one is kind of the main area. Floor two has a lot of the like power, like it's kind of where everything is powered from. This is the packing floor, where all the products that Grunty Industry makes are being packaged. Their main product being, uh, it's on the wall somewhere. Big O pants. Because apparently big was not enough. It's it's the big O pants. Or big O's. You know, some people are pretty chunky. They need they need a little extra, a little extra girth. Ouch! Well, here's Mumbo's skull. Yeah, you'll notice Wumbo's Wigwam and Mumbo's skull look different in this world. Mumbo had kind of the demon skull in Witchy World, but Wumbo's was made of copper and Mumbo's was kind of made of steel, which is interesting. Also, not sure why I decided to be just Banjo. I think that's actually probably not a really good idea. Oh, 
this area over here. I wonder where this leads. It's through the vents. Fire exit. That's where I need to go. Oh, I hear a Jinjo, or maybe it's a Minjo. Don't know. You think I would know because I've played this game before. But it's been a very long time. Yeah, uh, if you don't know about the Banjo Pack Whack then second jump move, you should. It makes this area significantly easier and more fun to uh, get through. Much faster. I already climbed up this pole. No, I have not. You can also just explore this area as Banjo and Kazooie, too. Like, you don't have to do it as just Banjo. But I like pain, so... <laughs> oh, wow, that is a Minjo. Wow. Yeah, the Jinjos and Minjos... The Minjos are now just located in really annoying places. Anyhow, a fire exit? Oh, boy! I love taking fire exits. And when you have fire eggs, there is always a reason to take them. No! Oh, that's bad. It's actually really... Actually, no, no, you know what? It's not bad. Because we're going to pick up that battery, and I'm pretty sure this battery powers something on floor free. Yeah, because there, remember, there are four batteries and four places to be powered. We've already powered two of the places of two of the batteries. There's one more battery on floor two, but there are no more places on floor two that need battery power. So we're going to need to take that... <laughs> I need to take that battery on over to uh, floor three, I believe. And that leads to the toxic waste area. We don't want to go over there. Why are they getting so upset? Oh, maybe because it's Grunty Industries, and I'm Grunty Enemy Number One. All right. Scoop a doop a doop. -doop. All right, you battery, you me, gonna be tight. Ouch. Oh, and one unfortunate thing is that if you're carrying something like a battery in your pack, you can't use Snooze Pack. Oh no, you can. I guess Banjo can sleep with the battery not in there, even if the battery's in there anyway. Okay. That's strange. The whole gimmick of Banjo is that his empty pack is supposed to be serving a lot of uses, and right now he has a full pack. Okay. I admit, Grunty Industries can be easy to get lost in. But as long as you remember where floor two... As long as you remember the color coordinations for each of the floors. Yeah, floor one, entrance door. We're going to go to floor three outside Mumbo's skull. And we're going to look high and low for something that needs power. Oh, never mind. There's a battery here? On floor three? Oh, I'm confused. No, there's only one thing on floor two to power. I do know that. Oh, this is strange. Oh, there's a globo up there. I don't think we can reach it, though. Ouch. Okay, this is over where the fire exit was that I fell off of last time. I'm not even going to travel there with just Banjo. I think that's what leads up to floor four, honestly. I'm looking for the entrance to the uh, fueling room. Because I believe that is where we need to power something with a battery. Ouch! No, no, no! 
Oh, thank you, big old pants. You saved me. This looks promising. I'm gonna sidle across this. Yes, boiler plant. That's that's the area I want to go to. Four free boiler plant. Okay, these fiends look like they've got faces. No two ways about that. Looks like this boiler is actually working. And unlike old King Cole's boiler, we actually can't enter it. Get out of here, you you wretch. Ah, here we go. The packing room, yeah. The packing room, you need to actually power it up. Additional battery power channel to door. Access is now granted. All right, Kazooie. Can you, uh, can you, can you get over here? Banjo, I don't even know where you went. <laughs> yeah, but you can move faster and you've got better... Actually, no, Banjo's jumping ability is better with the addition of his secondary jump. Although, Kazooie, you now have light spring, so you can go a lot higher. Boiler plant? Access denied. Door can be accessed by mechanical personnel only. Alright, fine. You guys are just letting machines take over the world. Whatever. I'm out. Nice, hollow honeycomb piece. Almost fell off a cliff there. Here we go. Here's the boiler plant. Do, 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 boiler plant. Everyone out of my way. Actually, can we enter the packing room as just Kazooie or do we need Banjo as well? I think you can do it as just Kazooie. And if you can, this is the way you want to do it. Yeah, do it as, as just Kazooie. Floor free, packing room. Twinkly Packing Challenge has been located. Game rules are available if required. Sure. Twinklies appear from the mesh floor. The packer must collect them before they disappear and take them to the correct loading chutes. Stand on the platform near the chute to load them. Twinklies are heavy, so the more you carry, the slower you run. Blue ones are worth three points, green ones are worth two, and red are only worth one. Score 40 to earn a, ba a basic Packers bonus. Ready, three, two, one, go. Yes, yeah, so the Twinklies return here. And trust me, this is a game is a whole lot easier if you're just Kazooie, because just Kazooie makes a... goes with that faster. Actually, I'm... Oh, and definitely pick up the Speedy, the Turbo Trainers. I forgot they were here. I actually can't remember if you can go in as Banjo and Kazooie, or if you have to go in as just Kazooie. I know you can't go in as just Banjo, or if you can, uh, you're, you ain't gonna win that. Find the Twinklies based on their lights. Uh-oh, I, I need to score more points. This is one of those minigames that I actually think is pretty fun. It's kind of like the Hoopery game. Uh oh, I gotta hurry. Okay, that's more than enough points. Packing requirements have been met. A bonus will now be awarded. Our second Jiggy! Okay, I always thought as a kid that the... The thing that's talking here. Uh, this thing. Do you want to play again? I always thought that that was, like, just a mechanical guy with a weird neck and, like, an elephant-like head. No, those are, like, the megaphones that, are, like, are from, like, the speaker system. But they have sentient eyes, so... 
basically it's basically GLaDOS, but not as entertaining, obviously. Thanks, Banjo. Alright, anyhow. We're over we're over here in the uh, fuel uh, sorry, the boiler plant, and why is the camera weird? There are these four uh, bolts in the wall holding this panel up, and you'll remember the signpost said to unscrew bolts with the build drill move. Floor 2 electromagnet chamber. There's a mumble pad that's being suspended. So if we unscrew all four of these... That platform will break down, and a mumble pad will drop in the electromagnet chamber. And now the panel will blow up. That's one of the just... The, you can see how interconnected this world is with itself, and how all the different floors, like, feed into each other, and how you have to explore one floor in order to do more stuff on the other floors. It's... I love it. I really love it. Also, elevator shaft is over here. Hit the button and open it up. New shortcut to floor free. Yeah, I adore this world a lot. I really, really like it. <laughs> no wonder that worker is has his clothes dirty, because he's working in a room that is filled to the brim with coal! <laughs> hey, what's so long about coal? Oh, uh, sorry, old King Cole. Nothing. Yeah, that's right. Is that just where the hollow honeycomb piece was found? Yeah, that's where the hollow honeycomb piece was found. Also, we need to find the other globo in here. I heard it earlier. Might have to be Solo Kazooie in order to reach it just for her leg sprint ability. Rats, I'm in the wrong place. It's not near the Jinjo. Although that is over where the fire exit is. Fire exit is the last place we're gonna go to on floor three, because that's what leads up to floor four. <laughs> you escape you escape from floor three through the fire exit, but it doesn't actually take you like outside. No no no, it just takes you over towards uh <laughs> it just takes you to the floor above it. Oh, there's the global. Should have just dropped down from the packing room, never mind. I do really like how the lights coordinate what floor you're on. So, like, it's blue lights for floor one, uh, green lights for floor two, yellow lights for floor three, I believe pinkish purple lights for floor four, and then the basement has those red lights. As well as, I think, a couple of blue, because it's connected to floor one. So we could use Mumbo now, but there are actually quite a lot of Mumbo pads on this course, and we can't access any of them right now, except I think the one in the electromagnet chamber that we just dropped down, but we can't do anything with that pad just yet. Instead, we're gonna go over to the fire exit. <laughs> do you need to- is there a fire? Do you need to escape? Well, make sure you don't get hit by the- the <laughs> loose wires that are spewing electricity everywhere. This is not up to code at all. How is Grunty allowed to keep this place open? Yeah, the, the, the fire escape doesn't lead down. It leads higher up in the building, which is a, the exact opposite direction you want to go if there is a fire. Yeah, this leads up to floor four. Floor four. Yep, you got the pink lights for this floor. And wow, yeah, screen just shakes on floor four. Sorry, bro, there's nothing we can do about that. Quality control. Access denied. Door can be accessed by mechanical personnel only. Because machines are better. Swingy step shoes. Interesting. This right here is very important. This switch creates flight pads outside, and let me tell you what, the flight pad opens up so much, and two of them are made, one on each of the two main walls. 
The sooner you can hit that, the better. Fourth floor service elevator, can't do anything with that. a warp pad for floor four. Every floor has its own warp pad. So there are these crushers here, and no matter how fast we are, we're not going to be able to get through here before getting smooshed, so I'm not even going to try. And I believe, much like the garbage compactor, uh, that'll just reduce your HP to one, and if you're at one HP, it'll to kill you. So, not, not nice. Mumble pad up here. panel up there. Nothing we can do with it yet, though. Yeah, floor four doesn't really have anything that we can do just yet, as far as I can tell. I think we're literally just stuck here. Yeah, so. At this point, I think I'm gonna go back outside and take advantage of those flight pads that we just opened up. You'll remember all those windows we were breaking? Well, with the flight pad, we can take advantage of those and actually access some new stuff. I'll just be easier to damage boost through here. Easier and faster. Anyhow, let's ride! So right off the bat, the treble clef is up here. We'll take advantage of that. And there was also the window that we broke right down here. We'll just hover on in. Floor one. Hey, there's a Jiggy! So we're at the top of floor one, and there's a Jiggy on top of that main machine that we were going around. Now the question is, can we actually reach over there? And the answer is... Nope! <laughs> Tough luck, kid. Rats. Yeah, so, unfortunately, we can't reach there with Banjo and Kazooie. We're gonna have to split up and have just Kazooie go for there. Because remember, just Kazooie can fly even better than Banjo. And as you can see, we, again, we've barely even made a dent in this area, in this world, and we've been spending over an hour in here, so... <laughs> you can see why this world might frustrate some people, but I love it. It's really good level design, honestly. So this way over here leads to... a Cheeto page, the second one of the level. Thank goodness there's actually a flight pad up here. So, well, I mean, there's a flight pad right down there anyways, so it's not a huge deal, but it's nice. It's convenient. I'm keeping a lookout for any other windows that we can break. Because there are quite a few. I know I broke three of them. Here's the, yeah, here's the other one. And in here, we're at floor two. So this window is leading to that, uh, over here. That's where we popped in for, uh, from floor one, and that's where the service elevator is. More screws to unscrew! So that's holding up a cage on floor one. Interesting. Yeah, I love how, like, these screws basically allow you to affect lower levels from higher levels. The windows and the flight pads allow you to access different floors and just in different ways. The Wumba transformation allows you to quickly go from floor to floor. There's just, there's so much interconnectivity between the different parts of the level, and it, it really feels like it's a Zelda dungeon more than a Banjo-Kazooie world, which I get a lot of people don't want that. They want Banjo-Kazooie worlds and Banjo-Kazooie, but you still get parts of that. 
It's a really unique world, yeah, so that makes a little cage fall down there, which you might be wondering, why the heck is that going to be there? Like, what use does that have? Uh, it'll have a use later. Again, there's so many ins and outs, and I get that if you don't know, if this is your first time playing, it's ridiculously intimidating, and it'll take you forever to get everything and find everything, but I love this world. It's so well done. Anyhow, we can fly up pretty high. I'm gonna still keep an eye out on any... Any windows that need more breaking. Oh, hey, one of the fire exits. Oh, yeah, that's where the Jinjo was hiding. We never actually did get him, did we? Uh, we'll get him eventually. Fire exit from floor three to floor four. Not how fire exits actually work in real life, thank goodness, but... Alright, I think... I think that's... Everything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we're missing on the side of the building. Nope. Alright, so we can fly all the way up to the roof now. And look at that, it's the final warp pad. One for each of the main floor, four floors, and then one outside on top of the roof. Right next to another flight pad. Fantastic. Hi, bro! Shot jump disc to get up higher on the roof. Is there anything on this side? I think flight. I think the flight disc is needed for, like, everything on the roof. So remember the Jam Jar's uh, sign said that both of the chimneys have a secret. So for this chimney secret, it's the Hollow Honeycomb piece. So that's the last Hollow Honeycomb piece for the level. Not sure why I even tried to do the traditional trick, because I have fall proof. I don't need to do the glitch that allows you to survive falling high, uh, high heights. Get a grenade egg there, and there we can blow up a hole, blow up in a hole in this chimney. Because there's nothing at the top, but we can if we blow it up, op open the hole, we can go through here. And it leads to Floor Free in the Boiler Plant. And we can grab this Jinjo who's up here. Jinjo! And get the six out of the seven blue Jinjos in the game. Excellent. And now on that note, I think that's where we're going to end this recording for Banjo-Tooie. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. Again, we have... We have still barely even scratched the surface of Grunty Industries. We've seen a lot, definitely most, I think, of what the stage has. But there are still so many rooms we haven't been into yet. And there are a lot of secrets waiting around. And we haven't even touched the Wumba transformation or, like, most of Floor 4. So we'll, f we'll figure that out next time. Thanks for watching. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.